remembering Paul Walker, Joe's explosive interview about Miley and Demi, and Cord asks out his much older celebrity crush. All this and more on today's Rundown. Cleverettes, welcome back to another episode of Daily Hollywood Rundown. I'm so excited to be back. Mm -hmm. I'm Deidre Behar. I'm very thankful to be next to my friend Katie Krause today. Hey, you guys. Yes, a lot to be thankful for. An incredible week. I know we were gone, but Taylor Swift did win yes, Star of the did. Week on Friday. But also a very sad week with the loss of Paul Walker. I know that you have today's top story. <laughs> Yes, it is perhaps the most unfortunate news we've heard in a really long yeah. time. One of, not only, he was a great actor, but I feel like he was such a humanitarian. We lost Paul Walker over the weekend in an unfortunate car accident. Just a complete malfunction in a very such a kind of like, yeah, fluke accident, a very like high profile exotic Porsche kind of, um, they're saying that it was something to do with the steering wheel the fluid. fluid. right. Yeah. And so not only did we lose Paul, we lost his business slash charity partner, um, Roger Rodas. And it's just all over a horrible, horrible accident. I know Roger's eight-year-old witnessed the accident. We know Paul's 15-year-old daughter, Meadow, kind of witnessed it as well. Can you imagine? I can't. It I, gives me chills oh, thinking about I, it because, you know, Paul, I think more than just being an actor who did so many great movies that we grew up just loving, um, he was known to be the most down-to-earth guy in Hollywood, didn't care about yeah. fame or money or glitz and glam. He just really loved being an outdoorsman, an adventurer, um, a, a thrill-seeker. so much. He was a philanthropist right. completely. And I feel like we really lost a, a good soul, a really good man overall. What do you think? Yeah, I completely agree with you. I think when you hear about these kinds of accidents, it really reminds you mm -hmm. to tell your loved ones how you feel yeah. about them. And I know that that's what his dad actually told a local CBS station. His mm -hmm. dad said, quote, I'm just glad that every time I saw him, I told him I loved him and he would say the same thing to me. Aww. And I know so many of his co-stars have just... Literally, they've been tweeting, Instagramming, and expressing their love and their support to his family and just letting us know what an amazing and incredible person he was. Tyrese, one of his yeah. best friends. I mean, he went to the site in Santa Clarita yesterday. I guess he left flowers there. He's been Instagramming up a storm. Mm -hmm. He has. Of course, we've had Jordana Brewster. She right. was tweeting. Vin Diesel, his like number one partner in crime. He seems also very shaken up about the incident. Ludacris, the entire Fast family. They really yeah, just the see the rock. Yeah, yeah they really just seemed like they were more than a cast. They were a family. And Paul was kind of like the patriarch, I would say, of all of it. He was there from day one um, in the very first film. And, you know, a lot of his past co stars reached out. I would say my favorite Paul Walker film is She's All That. Okay. Rachel Lee Cook tweeted out that, you know, she really misses him. And it's just a, a horrible tragedy. What's maybe your favorite Paul oh, movie? I have so many, but I have to say Varsity Blues. Oh, a classic. For me is one of my absolute favorites. I know uh, James Vanderbeek reached yes. out. I also, you guys, I loved The Skulls, him and Joshua Jackson, yeah. that movie. That was a good movie. And it's really nice to see so many people just rallying for him and just remembering him in such a positive way. And that's what yeah. we want to do as well is just remember all the good things. There really isn't even one bad thing to say about him. No. So maybe you guys can let us know your favorite. Paul Walker movie yes. in the comment section or maybe your favorite thing about Paul. Let's keep it positive, positive. in his memory. Yes, rest in peace, Paul Walker. We miss you. So Joe Jonas yeah. gave this incredibly Whoa. explosive interview. It's not even an interview. He actually wrote this piece. It's called Joe Jonas, My Life as a Jonas Brother. And it's in New York Magazine. And there are a lot of bombshells, you guys. Let's start things with this whole Demi Lovato, Miley Cyrus situation. Joe claims that when he was 17 or 18, those two ladies actually peer pressured him into smoking marijuana, which makes them about 14 or 15 at the time so if you do the young, math, yes. which I'm a little bit surprised by. He also talks about his romantic relationship with Demi Lovato uh, many years ago and says, you know, the fans really, really rooted for that relationship and that made it really hard for him. He says he was never actually that happy in the relationship. And here's, here's part of the quote. I really got to know her and got to see the ins and outs of what she was struggling with, like drug abuse. I felt like I needed to take care of her, but at the same time, I was living a lie because I wasn't happy, but felt like I had to stay in it for her. Wow. And 
a lot of people are upset because they feel like he's throwing Demi under the bus in this interview, and obviously they're still friends. They went on a double date just a couple weeks yeah, ago. Yeah, recently. But then other people are saying, you know what? I'm happy that you're being so honest and so candid about things, and Demi was a different person than she was then compared to who she now. is now. What are yeah. your thoughts? It's always a slippery slope when you do an interview and mm -hmm. you mention anyone else's name because you're really only at liberty to talk about yourself. You shouldn't yeah. be talking about others. However, we know that the Disney web kind of has been very tangled throughout the years. And I do have to give Joe Jonas props for being very open and candid about things that are not easy to talk about. Right. I mean, topics like smoking marijuana, losing your virginity, these are really personal, date. personal things. Dating fans. And dating fans, he, he went on a fan and, date to a movie. And, and made, made out, out. With yeah, yeah. Made, yeah. And crazy. I thought that was crazy that he was so honest about that. He also talked about the whole Vanessa Hutchins nude photo scandal, which happened a couple years ago, and how Disney execs wanted to keep her on lockdown. Yeah. So she had to be there all day. And then they really put pressure on the Jonas Brothers by saying things like, we're so glad you guys aren't like that. Yeah, it's I a mean, manipulative. it's a very manipulative. I'm sure Disney is not pleased by this article. I just cannot wait to see how either Demi or Miley, maybe they'll tweet about it, maybe they'll issue a statement. Mm. Um, because I feel like the romantic stuff kind of just rolls off the back. But the accusations of... Uh, you were 14 use. and 15 yeah. peer pressuring this older guy to smoke weed. Like, those are really, really bold claims. And I don't know. I'd like to think that Miley and Demi were sweet girls, and I like to think that maybe yeah. he exaggerated a bit. What do you guys think? Let us know. Yeah, and also I just want to point out that he talked about the whole purity ring yeah. situation and how that really got blown out of proportion, that the guys never really wanted to be uh, the campaign poster boys yeah. for abstinence. Yes. But that's sort of what it came to be, mm -hmm. and that really affected them and what they thought about fame and that he lost his virginity at 20 years old, which is when he started dating Ashley Green, but he did not confirm nor deny yeah. anything about the, her being the one. The one thing I do applaud him on is he said that he's glad he he waited till he was 20 because yeah. he did lose it to someone who was special to him and someone that he really cared it about. should be special. Not someone random, exactly. So good for you, Joe Jonas. And talking about Demi Lovato, she's yes. also on the cover of Nylon Magazine. She is, and you guys, this is maybe her most um, unconventional fashion look I think we've seen from her in a long time. I mean, I'm talking plaid, fur, stripes, a t-shirt, edgy jewelry, blue hair. I mean, Demi is really solidifying herself. I think Miley is a little, she's, Miley's unconventional, but in a high fashion way. She loves Chanel, she loves Karl Lagerfeld. I feel like Demi's really kind of the hipster fashionista mm -hmm. of the group, and she's doing a really, agree. really great job. Uh, she issued a very interesting quote in the article inside the magazine. She said, when I was on the Disney Channel, I wanted to get my nose pierced in the middle so that I could flip it up during filming and flip it down at night to let the wild child side come out. Turns out I didn't need the nose ring. <laughs> so it's kind of perfect going along with what we just talked about with Joe Jonas, all these former Disney stars um, embracing their inner, quote, wild child and rebelling against, um, you know, the, the sugary ice cream and sprinkles kind of uh, upbringing that they had and then kind of turning into uh, more mature adults. But I think Demi is just doing a great job these days. She's recovered and she's sober and I think she's a good role model. Zac Efron is healing from his broken jaw Thank very goodness. nicely. He was spotted out on November 26th. Uh, he was outside of a physical therapy building. Mm -hmm. I guess he just got in for a checkup and then he was skateboarding. He sort of had on this kind of interesting looking blue sweater, a white t-shirt, gray shorts, beanie, sunglasses, and he's sipping on some sort of green juice, which makes sense because Adam Shankman, who he worked with on Hairspray, has actually been taking care of Mr. Zac Efron How really nice sweet. Is that? He told Us Weekly, I've been at his house every day and I've been making him soup. He's been drinking it through a straw. But he also assured us that Zac is in good spirits. And in fact, Zac tweeted on Thanksgiving. Aww. He said, so many things to be grateful for. I hope everyone has a great Thanksgiving. Well, now that I saw how great Zach looks, I definitely did. Just north of Los Angeles over in Vancouver, filming has started officially on the Fifty Shades of Grey movie. We saw our girl Dakota Johnson filming a scene with Jamie Dornan, AKA Christian Grey. Looks like they're on a bit of a date. They're inside of a cafe or a coffee shop. 
and uh, it looks like they're just kind of getting things off to a start and really getting to know each other before it really heats up and gets saucy. Are you excited for the movie? I am so stoked, you guys. There's also a picture from the set where we see Jamie, aka Christian, mm -hmm. bringing over this tea to Anastasia. There's a nice close-up shot of him doing that perfect Christian Grey stare. Nails He's it. So darn handsome. I know El <laughs> James has also been Instagramming up a storm, and I think. I'm gonna say it, he is such a better fit than Charlie Hunnam. Agreed. So this isn't officially a couple, but if Ford Overstreet has his way, you guys, he would love to take out Miss Sandra Bullock. Can't and blame him. I know, he revealed his big celebrity crush on Ellen. He also, of course, talked about Cory Monteith and really remembered him in such a positive way, had incredibly sweet things to say about Cory. But back to Sandra. Yes. He said that he actually saw her at an event. He's never met her, mm -hmm. but was too scared to even talk to her. <sighs> Take a look at what went down. The current, most current one right now is Sandra Bullock. Sandra Bullock. Sandra Bullock, yes. Do you know her? Um, I've actually never met her. I've, no? I, I saw her, I saw her from a distance at one of these, mm -hmm. one of these red carpet things, and it was a little, a little bit like, She's too scared to talk to her. She's really? she that beautiful. She watches the show. If you want to just look right into the camera and just just ask her out or something. Uh, Sandra, would would you go out with me? Oh, that would be it would be amazing if you could just respond right now, so I'm not left waiting. So, do you think that Sandy should say Sandy. yes to court? I think he's a little young. He's 24, and Sandra is a single mom. I know she's got her hands full with baby Louie, so I'm not sure it would exactly work out, but I 100% see the appeal. I think she's classy, sophisticated, smart, and so yeah. talented. Court Overstreet, you got yourself some great taste in women. I have to say, I actually talked to Court at the Hunger Games premiere yes. just a few days ago, it seems. He is very mature, very charming, so maybe it could work. And she's so funny, he's very funny. They're they do have that talented. in common. I, is, he ready to be a, is he ready to be a stepfather? I maybe, think that's the question. Maybe so. <laughs> you guys, you know the drill. Time to welcome our religious hipster gangster, <laughs> our resident hipster gangster, Misty King. But What's she's up? Got all the scoop on Britney Jean. We are so excited for some new Britney tunes. What's the deal with the album? All this week, all you need to know is Britney Jean is finally out, and it's Britney's so birthday exciting. today, and the album's Happy coming birthday. out. Happy birthday. So what a better gift for her fans. Right? Happy Perfect. birthday, Britney Spears. Thanks for giving us a gift. Yes, exactly. Yes. All right, so she keeps telling everyone that the album's really personal. Mm -hmm. And you know, we're kind of thinking, well, then why are all these EDM songs on the album? It's like half mid-tempo ballads, half EDM. But I will say, I did think she kept good on the personal aspect because in the slower songs, she's talking about like being an outcast, the song with her sister, the perfume song. So there is that in there. So okay. Do I'm you not like mad. the song with Jamie Lynn, chilling with you? I do like it. I think it's innocent. I think it's okay. for a younger demo, um, but I think it's cute. Okay. And I want to know about the T.I. song. Are you a fan of that track? Um, not hugely. Okay. Um, I prefer Passenger. Okay. Passenger, okay. Um, I also really like Alien. Ooh. The William anything, Orbit song. Anything Alien sounding. <laughs> yes. We were big fans of E.T. when Katy Perry put out that right. song. So right. I think that is a fun that theme. concept. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh -huh. By the way, Katy Perry co-wrote one of the songs on her album. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, and Britney also co-wrote a lot of the songs, so props to her. Amen, Brit Brit. Here you go, Britney. I'm very excited to purchase this. I am too. Really quick last question. Is it her best album yet? I actually think so. You do? Wow. I actually really, really like it. Cool. Yeah. Do All you right. think it will outsell Katie, Gaga, and Miley? Is she still the queen? the queen? So it'll be really interesting to see how Britney sells compared to Katie, Gaga, and Miley. I think she'll definitely outsell Miley and Gaga, but I don't know about Katie. We'll have to mm. see. Right. Well, we will have that answer for you guys next week. For more Misty Kingma, head over to Clever Music. Yeah, thanks guys. Thank She's you. See you next week. All right, well, I will be purchasing Britney Jean. Yes. It is going to be fantastic. You guys, now take it to the comments section, though. I want to know all your thoughts about Paul Walker, maybe your favorite Paul Walker movie, uh, favorite memory of him. What are your thoughts on this tragic situation? Go ahead and let us know below. Yes, and also, let's talk Joe Jonas. Was he wrong to maybe throw his mm. friends under the bus? Or do you appreciate the truth? Let us know. Comment below or find us on Twitter, Instagram, and don't forget, it is a brand new week, 
Start voting for uh, your new Star of the Week and why should you be Cleverette of the Week. Lots of votes right now for Demi again yeah. and also One Direction. It's been all girls. Is it finally time for a boy to take the honor? Who will break the, the cycle? Yes. Let us know. Thumbs up this video. Subscribe. She's Deidre. I'm Katie. We'll see you guys later.